Club Express, Photos, Photo Albums, and Web Graphics. Photos and other graphics stored in your Club Express platform can be used in many ways. For example, they may be displayed on your home page or custom web pages, or as part of an event description, emailing, blog post, news item, or even a survey question. There are two ways to store and use images on your Club Express website web graphics and photos. Web graphics are images uploaded to the website by administrators and coordinators using the web graphics function. These images typically include logos and graphics used on the home page or on custom pages and also in the page header and content boxes around the layout. These graphics are uploaded and stored only in their original size and resolution. Photos, on the other hand, are stored in multiple resolutions with a title, caption, photographer's name, the date the picture was taken, and one or more tags describing the photo. When a photo is uploaded, it is generally stored in three resolutions. A small thumbnail image. There's one that's been resized to a screen size for easy display. And the original full-size high-resolution file. Photos can be uploaded by administrators and coordinators of the photo function. And optionally, you can let your members upload photos into their own photo albums. Photo albums are organized into categories that can be anything you want, as general as events or as specific as holiday parties. Individual photo albums can also be placed on the menu for easy access. Let's explore the use cases for each approach and look at the tools for managing and using the images. We're already logged onto one of our demo sites as an administrator. There are several graphics displayed on the home page, in the header, page background, and in various pieces of content. All of these have been uploaded as web graphics. To manage these images, go to the Control Panel's Website tab, scroll down to the Setup section, and click on Web Graphics. Many clubs and associations have hundreds of graphics used around their website. If you just click Show Files without any selection criteria, all the files will be listed in pages of 50 files each. You can use the standard page navigation tools to move between pages. You can search by file name or title and choose where your filter text can be. It can be at the start of the field or contained anywhere in the field. Or choose R Anything that's effectively the same as leaving the search field blank. Use File Name Contains to search for extensions such as JPEG or GIF. You can also filter by specific folders. If you search by title, the first grid column will show title followed by the file name and sorts alphabetically by title. If you search by file name, the first grid column will show file name followed by title and sort by the file name. If there's no title specified, the words no title is displayed and these files are not returned in a title search unless you do not specify any criteria. Note also that when a file is uploaded, the file name may be modified internally to avoid accidentally overwriting an existing file if a duplicate file name was used. So, when you place a web graphic on the page using the editor, the HTML code will use the internal file name rather than the one you originally uploaded. The result list shows each file name and title, the folder, and several icons in the Maintain column. The View icon lets you see this graphic in a small pop-up window. The Edit icon lets you change the properties for this graphic. The Copy icon puts the URL of the graphic into the clipboard. This URL can be used to access the web graphic from anywhere, for example, on another web page or website or in an email. The Delete icon lets you delete the graphic and you'll be prompted to confirm. Note that any references to this file around the website will need to be removed or edited to point to a new file. And there's an icon that lets you rotate and crop the image. To add a new graphic, click the Add Web Graphic button. Browse to the file on your local hard disk or network. The file name will appear together with a Remove option that's useful if you selected the wrong file. Specify an optional title and folder then click Save to upload the image or Cancel to return without uploading. When you edit an existing graphic, a slightly different version of this dialog appears, allowing you to replace the file, change the title, or move it to a different folder. Web graphics can be organized into folders, which is especially useful for larger websites with a lot of graphic elements. 
Click the Manage Folders button to see the standard Club Express admin screen showing a list of folders and the number of graphics in each folder. Click the Add Folder button to create a folder and specify the folder name. Spaces are allowed in the name, but duplicate folder names are not permitted. Click the Edit icon to modify a folder's name. And if there are no graphics in the folder, a Delete icon lets you remove the folder. Click Return to Previous Page to return to the Web Graphics Manager. If you want to crop or rotate the image, click on the Image Editor icon. The image is shown at its full resolution. Use the scroll bars on the right and along the bottom edge to adjust the view. There are icons at the top of the window to undo the last change, redo the last change, rotate the image left, rotate the image right, and crop the image. The current width and height are also shown. When you enter the crop mode, you can drag out a rectangle, then adjust in any corner or the middle of any edge. Click the check icon to execute the crop or the X icon to cancel the crop. You can click Save and Close to save your changes and return to the Web Graphics Manager. Or you can click Save as New Edited Image to save your changes to a new file. You'll be prompted to enter a file name, and the original image is unchanged. And you can click Cancel to close the dialog without saving any changes. Note that images that have been cropped or rotated and are used on a web page somewhere on the website may not reflect the changes immediately because the browser has cached the original images. Those pages will need to be hard refreshed or the browser cache cleared to see the changes. Alternatively, you can use the Save as New to create a new image and then replace any images on the site with the newly saved image. Now let's look at photos and photo albums by first viewing the photo album index page that collects all defined photo albums onto a single screen. This page can be easily placed on the menu as a single entry point to your organization's photos. The initial view shows the 30 newest and most recently added or updated photo albums. For each album, the system displays the album's title, number of photos, and when the album was last updated. Click the photo to display the album, and the photos are displayed as a slideshow. The photo album title is displayed at the top left. If a long description has been entered for the album, a More Info link is displayed. Click on this link to see the full description. The photo itself is displayed in the middle with navigation arrows on the left and right. Thumbnails of each photo in the album are displayed along the bottom. Click the navigation arrows to move to the previous or next photo, or click a thumbnail to select a specific photo. If there are more photos in the album that can be displayed across the width, the thumbnail section will have its own navigation arrows. The tab in the top right corner shows the current photo and the total number of photos. And then there are four icons where you can download the high resolution version, if it's been enabled, go to a full screen view, you can pause or play the slideshow, and you can share via social networking. When you hover over the share icon, a pop up is displayed that lets you share a photo of your Facebook or Twitter feeds via other services. To close the album, click the X icon in the top right corner. When on the Photo Albums page, click Show All to show all photo album categories and the albums within each category, including member albums if that option has been enabled. Click Newest Albums to see the original view that includes only the albums added or updated in the last 30 days. Click the Filter button to display the filter panel which allows you to show only albums within a specific category and or a specific subgroup, which could be a chapter. Click the filter button again to hide the filter panel. You can click the search button to display a search panel, which allows you to search for photos that match specific criteria. You can search by image title anywhere in the field, album title anywhere in the field, photographer's name anywhere in the field, a photo tag, which must be an exact match, but you have the option to select from the tag list. Or by member name, which is anywhere in the first name or last name. When you click the search button, the search system creates a temporary album containing all the photos that match your search criteria. Then click the album to display its photos. There are two ways to manage photo albums. Administrators and function coordinators can go to the control panel's website tab 
and click on Photo Albums. Or when viewing the Photo Album Index screen, coordinators and administrators can click the pencil icon in the Page Tools widget on the right side of the screen. In both cases, the Photo Album Manager is displayed. Photo albums can be created at both the club and member levels, though member albums can be disabled as a system function. The search panel allows you to limit the list of photo albums by album name and or category. You can optionally include member photo albums in the search. Note that the practical size limit for each photo album is about 300 photos. If you have more photos that you want to display, spread them across multiple albums. If your club or association has subgroups, you can also filter by them. Administrators and module coordinators can view any photo album, including filtering by any subgroup. Subgroup administrators, however, will only see photo albums belonging to the subgroups that they administer. Click the Photo Album Options button to configure defaults that apply to all albums. Note that this button does not appear for subgroup administrators. Allow Member Photo Albums controls whether members can create their own photo albums and upload photos into them. If this option is set to Yes, members will see a Photo Albums option in their profile screen, and this is how they will create albums and upload photos. Display Member Photo Albums on Photo Album List controls whether member photo albums are included in the Photo Album List module and, if so, whether they're placed at the top or bottom of the Photo Albums Index page. The sort order within categories can be set to alphabetical, ascending or descending, or by date of the most recent update. The max screen photo size setting allows you to control the maximum dimension, height or width, for the screen size resolution that the system generates when you upload a high resolution photo. Note that the photo album viewer will dynamically shrink photos to fit if the specified resolution is larger than the current user's screen size. Then click Save to save your changes and return to the Photo Album Manager or Cancel to return without saving. Click the Photo Album Categories button to maintain the list of photo album categories. This list shows the existing categories, the number of photo albums in each category, and whether the category is visible on the Photo Albums Index page. Click the Add Category button to add a new category. Give the new category a name and decide whether it should be visible or not. Click the Display Sequence button to modify the order in which the categories are displayed on the Photo Albums Index. You can select one or more categories and move them up or down. Clicking the Edit icon lets you rename or change the visibility of an existing category, and a Delete icon is available for categories that have not been assigned to any photo albums. Then click Return to Previous Page to go back to the Photo Album Manager. To add a new club level album, Click the Add Photo Album button. Specify the album name and text to use if the page is placed on the menu, which is often a shorter name. Then select a category. If your organization has subgroups, a full administrator or module coordinator can link this album to any subgroup. However, a subgroup administrator can only link the album to the subgroups that he or she has access to. Once linked, it can then only contain photos that are also linked to that subgroup. Then specify whether the album can be made available to all website visitors or whether it should be only visible to members. An album marked as visible will only display on the photo album's index once it contains photos. And you can optionally enter a short description of the album, and if desired, a longer description can be added when editing the album's content. Click Save or Cancel to return to the Photo Album Manager. The Maintain column has several icons. Once an album has been created, you add photos and make changes by clicking on the Edit icon. This screen lists the photos that have been added to the album. Click the Select Photos button to add one or more photos that have already been uploaded to your site, perhaps used by another album, into this album. Enter text from the photo title and or one or more of the tags and click the Show Photos button to display a list of photos matching this criteria. As you select each photo, a preview will be shown in the right panel. You can use shift click and control click to select multiple photos at a time. However, in multi-select mode, the preview panel will only show the top photos selected in the list. Note that if a photo album is linked to a subgroup, only photos that are also linked to that subgroup can be selected. 
Click the Select button to add the highlighted items to the album or cancel to close the dialog without selecting. Click the Add One Photo button to upload one photo to the website and add it to this album in one simple step. In the Add Edit Photo screen, you select the file and give it a title. Then optionally add information such as the caption that displays with the photo. The tag field lets you enter multiple words or phrases. Press Enter to add each word or phrase as a tag. And if it matches one or more of the master tags, you'll see the drop down list to select that tag. You can also click the drop down arrow to see a list of master tags and the X on each tag to remove it. If information about the photographer and the date the image was taken is available, you can enter it. Then decide whether you want your users to be able to download the original high resolution version of the image. Now for an important note. Only upload photos that you have the right to upload. That is, you either hold the copyright or the copyright holder has granted you permission for the photo to be uploaded. If you upload photos without permission of the copyright holder, you run the risk of being sued for unauthorized use of copyrighted material. You can click the Add Multiple Photos button to add several photos to the website and add them to this album all in one step. Click the Select Photos button to select one or more files from the local hard disk or network. Use Shift-Click to select a contiguous group of files or Control-Click to select multiple individual files. Then fill out the other information and click Save to begin the upload process. The Display Sequence button shows the standard sequence dialog, allowing you to reorder the photos in the album. Note that the first photo in the album is used as the title photo, and is displayed on the Photo Album Index screen. Once a photo album is defined, click the Edit Configuration button to modify the album's properties, and the same form we saw earlier is displayed. Clicking the Long Description button displays the Advanced Content Editor, allowing you to create a more detailed description of the album. The grid shows each photo in the album, and in the Maintain column, there are a few icons. The Edit icon shows the Add Edit Photo dialog, allowing you to modify the data stored with this photo. And the Delete icon removes the photo from the album. The photo itself is not deleted. It remains in the Photo Manager to be used in other photo albums, and you'll be prompted to confirm this action. And the Image Editor icon lets you rotate and crop the image and optionally save it to a new file. Click the View icon to display the photo album, even if it's not on the menu. Click the Manage Coordinators icon to add one or more coordinators who have administrative rights over this album. This option is not available for subgroup administrators. Click the Edit Configuration icon to display the same dialog as when adding the album, allowing you to change its name, menu text, category, and visibility. Click the Long Description icon to display the Advanced Content Editor, allowing you to create a more detailed description of the album. With this editor, you have full control over fonts, alignments, styles, and other powerful HTML options, and you can even add photos and other graphics. When a long description is available for an album, a More Info link is displayed near the top of the album to view the description. The Share icon lets you share this new or updated photo album on your club's social networks, including Facebook and Twitter. This icon will only appear if the photo album page is active, and it does not need to be visible to everyone. If only members can access it, clicking the social networking link will first require members to log in. This option is not available for subgroup administrators, and when this icon is clicked, you'll be presented with buttons for social networks that have been set up for your club. Click the Delete icon to drop an album. You'll be asked to confirm the action which cannot be reversed, and the album is completely deleted. Note, however, that any photos that were placed in the album are not deleted. They're still stored in your website and can be placed on other albums or pages. As mentioned earlier, you can optionally permit your members to create their own photo albums. If enabled, members can create any number of albums and load photos into them. They access their photo albums by clicking on their profile and then click the Photo Albums link. Here they have tools to add and manage their albums in much the same way that administrators and coordinators manage club-level albums. Now let's go back to the control panel and click on the Photos link on the website tab, which displays the Photo Manager. Here you can administer all of the photos on your site. 
The photos include those that have been added into photo albums by administrators and coordinators or members, as well as photos uploaded directly via this page and are then available for display or for inclusion in photo albums. Like other manager screens, you can enter filter criteria for tags, photographer, title, and a date taken range, and then click search. The grid shows the title, date taken, and photographer for each photo. If your club or association has subgroups, you can also filter by subgroup. Full administrators or module coordinators can select any subgroup. However, subgroup administrators can only filter by the subgroups they have access to. When uploading photos, we attempt to read the orientation information from the photos, for JPEGs only, and rotate the saved image if necessary to preserve its orientation, either landscape or portrait. Note that some cameras and smartphones don't provide this information. The Add One Photo and Add Multiple Photos buttons provide the same functionality for selecting photos to upload as we saw when adding to photo albums. The difference is that here the photos are simply added to the photo repository, and when loading into photo albums, the photos are placed into the repository and are linked so they display in that photo album. The list of photos shows the title, which may be the file name, whether this is at the club or subgroup level, and information about the date taken and the photographer if available. The Maintain column has the familiar icons for viewing, editing, copying the URL, deleting, and image editing. There are many ways to use the photos and web graphics that have been uploaded into the system. For example, when creating a custom web page, event, blog, news item, survey question, or other content that uses the advanced content editor, there is an icon for insert image where you can display or upload a web graphic that might be used as a banner. Or you can click on the insert photo icon and insert one of the existing photos where it can be displayed in three ways. As a text link that when clicked displays the photo in a pop-up window. As a thumbnail photo that when clicked displays the photo in a pop-up window or display it as an embedded image on the page and optionally allow a high resolution download. When creating emailings, you can drag an image element into the editor area and select insert photo or insert image. When using an HTML element, the insert photo and insert image are also available. Once a photo or web graphic has been placed, there are tools to change the properties. For example, size, alignment, and borders, as well as changing the image entirely. So now you've seen how you can use and manage the photos and web graphic images uploaded to your club or association. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.